People ask me, what made you choose Autumn as an editor? And to that, I say, she has great comedic timing and is a professional. When I first met Autumn, she was a brand new editor at SourceFed trying to work her way up in the industry. Let's do the questionnaire now. Do you want to do it out here? Uh, no. Let's do it in my room. Oh, yikes. No thanks. Okay. I have a very intricate interviewing process. I like to set the location, and when Autumn changed that, it threw me off my game. I was impressed, but still very startled. Did you just... Snore a booger out? The answer was clear. Entering Autumn's room, I noticed an immediate smell of burnt hair. I'm not sure what she does in here, but it didn't smell like burnt human hair. I was also extremely offended by the amount of sin she was displaying. Uh, is this, is this your desk? Is this your desk? What's your desk? Like, I don't what you... have a desk. You can sit on the ground. Question number one, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, I, I didn't expect that. That was actually the appropriate answer. It was a trick question. Where do you see yourself in the future? Only a clairvoyant could answer that properly. And I can't risk having a clairvoyant, let alone any mutant, on my team again. If the government found out, well, there goes my employee. And I have to do the whole search all over again. How do you feel about House of Cards Season 5? Again, a perfect answer. There's no point in seeing House of Cards Season 5. It's dog trash and beats you over the head with its parallels to reality. Oh, uh, immigration ban. That came out of left field, and they talked about it for two seconds, and it was very much out of Frank's character. And who gives a fuck about Tom Yates? Do you have any experience with, uh, the Dark Road Man? Good, you don't know about it. Okay. Not all questions were answered correctly, though, as you'll see right here. Say you and your best friends were out at the mall, and a man walks up to you and says, These Yeezys are on sale for $350, and these are real Yeezys. You check them out online, and you can confirm they are real Yeezys. Do you get them, or do you let them sit? Huh? Kind of a no-brainer, right? I mean, the resale value on Yeezys is exceptionally high. She could easily double her money. And then I thought about it more, and I realized I'm hiring her to edit. The less she knows about making money, the better. What do you have nightmares about? Unbelievable. It's exactly like I hoped. She has social anxiety, which works out perfectly because we were planning on keeping her in the back room. Before I left, I had to inquire about the state of her room. She had a full-time job, yet she has a blow-up mattress and no desk. How do you live like this? That's a good question. Jesus Christ. I don't know. I sleep most of the day. I can't wait for Autumn to someday meet Matthew Peak. I don't know why. And you're in here 24-7 pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. That seems so... Desolate. Yeah, it's bad. I almost want to hire you just to bring you out of this. I, you gotta stop saying that unless you're serious about it, because it's giving me a lot of hope. Well, guess what, Autumn? No, you don't have a job, though. Fuck. Do you believe in Anubis? Do you have Egyptian beliefs? Why don't you believe in something normal like Hinduism or like Johnny Depp's religion, whatever he does? Who's Johnny Depp? I'm sorry, uh, Johnny Depp? Star of Transcendence? You plan out your Spotify payments? You are living in poverty! <laughs> oh my god, mine just shows up in my bank account. I'm like, oh, there they go. Oh, well, that must be nice. Yeah, it is nice. Certainly nicer than this. Okay. And that is the story of how Autumn was hired to edit. <laughs> and this... Well, this is the story of how the editing process works. The day starts out like any other. After we're done filming, I surprise Autumn with the footage. Good morning, Autumn. Holy fucking shit. I've been waiting outside for 20 minutes. So I give the footage to Autumn. She says thank you, and then she leaves. All right, please leave. All right. Thank you so much for coming by, though. Yeah, you're so welcome. Okay. Uh, I'll... Yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, okay. Ugh. I don't know how to talk to girls. Autumn then sends me the footage back. All cut up. Hello. How's the footage looking? Did you edit it all together? Uh, yeah, it's all good. It looks good. Is this serious or is this a bit? Awesome, thank you so much, Autumn. So after Autumn sends back the cut-up bits, I go in and glue it together with the narration. And when complaints are made about jump cuts, that is on me, unfortunately. Same with uh, the complaints about the subtitles recently, my fault as well. And the other day when the music was too loud during the intro, that was, um... Me, too. How would you grade me as an employer? Bad, too. Uh, well, bad. Cool. Thank you so much, Autumn. Um, mm -hmm. I'll Venmo you. Okay, thank you. Cool. 
awesome. At the end of the day, it's not about how much your employees respect you. Oh, whose fucking hair is this? I'm celibate. Oh no, dude!